Welcome back to more Kingdom Hearts 1. No, we're not in episode 10, because that's when we did Olympus. We're actually after Halloween Town, because we're going to do the Pegasus Cup, because we're going to get Strike Raid, because Strike Raid's amazing. Strike Raid is pretty good. In this game, in Cage 1 and Cage 2, it's good. Now, like, in BBS, it's just like a regular move you get with, like, Ventus. Oh, God, it's like, oh, God. KH 1.5 on the PC. 144 FPS, baby. <laughs> nah, we, get, we gotta speed them up, because I don't want to spend a whole part on this whole um, Olympus stuff, because it takes forever. So, yeah. Um, the song I'm using for this this time, because at first I was just going to use Yoko stuff, and I couldn't find anything else. So I was like, well, I'm going to use some Final Fantasy stuff. So, um, this is the Blinded by Light remix on the new Dissidia game. And Blinded by Light is actually probably my favorite Final Fantasy song. It's really good. Oh, this is a good remix, I haven't heard it before. Oh, it's really good! Uh, I love it. I, I can't wait to get to City just so I can uh, listen to it on my TV. The World of F the world of Final Fantasy version of this theme is really good as well. Well, I never like, like I said, it's probably my favorite, if it's not my favorite Final Fantasy song, it's my, definitely my favorite, like, battle theme, that's for sure. Yeah, it's really good. It sucks, because, like, this song is so good! Like, I love it! Like, it... This song alone, like, the, the original, not this remix version, kind of makes me want to replay, thir like, actually go back and finish 13. But, I just... I don't know. I never made it that far in 13. I got, like, an hour in, and I was bored. Good song. It is a really good song. This remix... I actually think this remix is better than the original. It's really good. Because, like, the beginning of it reminds me of, like, a Pokemon theme, like, from, like, a Game Boy Pokemon theme. But, like, it gets in this, like, rock version later on, and it, it's just sick, man. I love it. Now this song's gonna be in my head all day. <laughs> Say, you want... Uh, here, it's a good... I'll link it to you after the part. That way you can listen to it. Because it's really good. I love... I really like Blinded by Light. Like, it's one of the, like... Like, I have a couple video game songs on my phone. I don't have a lot. But, like, I made sure to get this version of it. So when I'm at work, I can, like do work while listening to FF music. Because, like, if we're talking, like, FF songs, I really like. I love, like, I love this song. I love, um, the final boss theme of, uh, 6. Uh, Bombing Mission from Seven is really good. Uh, Bombing Mission's, like, is probably my favorite Final Fantasy song. Have you, okay, which version? Because, like, do you like the, like, the orchestra version? The Distant World... Yeah, I like both, but the Distant Worlds one's really Oh, good. the Distant World. The main, okay, their version of the, like, the main FF, I think it's the main FF7 theme. It might just be the main FF theme, I don't know. Uh, it's like so good, oh my god, it's amazing. Actually, no, it is the FF7 theme, it's not, it's not the main uh, Final Fantasy theme. Oh, I'm, open, I'm obnoxiously whistling, whistling. <laughs> I love this theme. See, I, I've just opened the world for you. Actually, I just got a pun. I could showed you a new world. Yeah, boy. God damn it. And my voice cracked. It made that even worse. But, um, I love that, um, I love that Squall gets his, like, giant sword. I love that. That's pretty cool. Don't, don't you mean Leon? <gasps> no. <laughs> don't you mean Metal <laughs> Seedramon? We're the champs! My friend. And we finally got Strike Raid. Strike Raid is so good. Oh my god. We're gonna abuse this a lot. Do you open uh, Do you open the keyhole for Olympus? Is that what you're gonna do now? No, okay, so we can't open that yet until we beat Hades, I believe. Yeah, that's it. Because you get the Yellow Trinity then. Yeah, uh, we'll be doing that... Um, Okay, so the next uh, the next um, cup we have is the Hercules Cup. We'll be doing that um, on part 29, I think. Um, yeah, it is, because I actually I have that recorded. So, I yeah, we'll be doing that in part 29. And, and once we do um, Hollow Bastion, after that, we'll be doing the Hades Cup. And then we're going to finish the game. So, yeah, this LP is getting really close to being finished. It's it's kind of it's kind of a good feeling. It's kind of a sad feeling. It's like my it's like our baby as gay as yeah. that sounds. <laughs> when two KHLP is like each other very much. 
<laughs> they make a KHLP baby. Yeah, so next up we're going to Neverland, and we, we were talking about this on Skype the other day, but like, you don't like this world a whole lot, do you? No. No, it's too sim- it's, it's got the same ha problem as Halloween Town. Well, the locale is a bit too similar, so everything blends in together, and I think that makes it for a very uninteresting world. Like, it's just like, oh, it's a ship. And a clock tower. Oh. I know, like, PS2 limitations and all that, but... Well, like, I, I, I get why you don't like this world. This is actually one of my favorite worlds in the game, I have to be honest. I, I really like it. I don't even, like, here's the thing. I've only, I've never actually watched the first Peter Pan movie. I've seen part of the second movie, so, like, I don't even have, like, an attachment to it, but I still kind of like it. I used to love Peter Pan, like, um, basically one of the Disney films I watched all the time. Like, okay, so, um, <laughs> this is kind of sad, but, like, my own, my closest attachment to Peter Pan is Zelda, since, like, Link is based off wow. Peter Pan, so <laughs> that's, that's the only like, attachment I have to Peter Pan, well, and KH, I guess. I'm just, I, it's something, like, I just, I've never watched, I probably should do, like, I know we were talking about, um, when KH3, like, when it gets a release date, we were gonna do that thing we, like, kinda watch, just Disney movies. Yeah. Oh, but Disney movies in that game, yeah. Oh, I thought we were just... Okay, so if we, do, we might add Peter Pan to that, just so... Because I've never seen it, and I want to watch it, so... I mean, I can watch it by myself, but it's more fun to watch it with people. <laughs> I just want to hear KH3 music so bad. <laughs> oh, I'm ready. Technically, we have, because we it's kind of safe to say that, like, that Wave of Darkness is going to be in a KH3. I really want that to be the boss theme. I feel like that'd be really cool. Because that's a really good song. I, I love that. Do you think KH3 is going to come to Switch or anything? No. Square Enix games I don't think are well optimized enough to barely run on like PS4s. Like, never mind. <laughs> Switch, like... Is my problem with a Switch? Like, this is gonna sound like, when does portability matter if you're just playing a shit version of a game? Do you know what I mean? Like, I don't care if I can take it on the go. Like, if it plays like shit, like, why would I care about that? Also, I, I didn't want to make this joke since I recorded this, but you know what you could call that ship, Philip? A uh, spaceship. Because it's in space! <coughs> <laughs> what was, is that a cough? I thought it was a good. I thought it was a good pun. I didn't think you'd come, Sora. <gasps> Brother Sora, I again. knew you'd come. <laughs> Where Donald and Goofy? Are they that important to you? More important than old friends. Recoup his game so weird. He just Stay shows up occasionally and shit talks Sora and just leaves. About her. Kyrie. That's right. While you were off goofing around, I finally found her. Wow, the berserk, this new, this new berserk <laughs> golden age like <laughs> adaptation looks great. Oh my god, why? I just got a really <laughs> bad image right now because of that. <laughs> Riku. Now I have. He's got silver hair too. You're stupid. Sora hugs Kyrie and Cage too. <laughs> I can't even finish this because I'm gonna start laughing really hard if I say it. I picked up a few other tricks as well. Like I love you like a truck, berserker. Kyrie's um, Kyrie's mind. She's regressed to a child from the eclipse, from the Kingdom Hearts eclipse. Let's Riku's in the bathtub and Kairi walks in. She's like, "Why did you do and that?" And Riku just goes, "I can't say no." <laughs> Oh god! If you got, if you've never seen the Berserk like bloopers, you need to do it. Nothing. The hold is crawling with heartless. I would see. My, it sucks because you made that joke, and that's a lot funnier than what my joke was gonna be for Kyrie. You know, eh, my joke was gonna be the reason Kyrie's like that is because she got the entire plot of Kingdom Hearts told to her, and she's trying to understand it. <laughs> The master of masters of box. <laughs> you don't 
cutscene. Yeah. I love this cutscene, by the way. I really like. I I really like this scene. Yeah. I love like the parts in Cage One where it's more like kind of like a goof off cutscene because like this doesn't add anything to the plot, which is it's nice character interaction. You know. I don't know. I like it. Oh, <laughs> sorry. It's also pretty well animated. Like that's a cutscene I feel like they could use default face for, but they didn't do it. And I'm glad they did. Yeah. Like, Neverland has a lot of, like, I think has a lot of good, like, kind of Disney moments in, like, the original Kingdom Hearts story. Like, um, near the end is, like, that scene where Sora's like, I can't believe I flew. I'll, I'll wait till I tell Kairi, she probably won't believe it. Like, stuff like that I think is kind of sweet and nice. I wish, I wish it had more of that. Okay, so, like, Neverland and other cage games, do you think, like, do you like how it's represented? No. You don't? Okay. I, I hate it in D or not in, D in days just because of Ruler of the Sky and in BBS you have that very annoying Vanitas fight and it's really annoying. Suffer! What's yours is mine. Falcon kick! Wow, what's that? <laughs> she falcon kicked Donald. <laughs> Open up the door. Like, I have, like, Benita's battle quotes, in, like, ingrained Sora, in my okay. mind. Oh, because of that Aqua fights. Like, in BBS, I mean, they show more of Neverland, but it's not, like, very interesting. I will say this, though. It is one of the best worlds to go and grind at. Like, especially, like, it's particularly, it's the area around, like, it's like there's like a tree place you can go into because you can just keep running in the tree place and coming out And if you spam the um, like the mine attacks or commands, whatever it you can grind like exp like crazy It's so easy to do I guess I had to do that with um aqua for the later game I really love the battle music for uh, this world I do too, when you can hear when Peter Pan's like going, oh, ho, ho, ho. He, so ho, ho. he sounds like Scratch from AOSTH, and it gets on my nerves. But Peter Pan's a really good party member. He's probably the best, I'd say. I just like how he has a fucking knife. <laughs> His like little jab attack kills enemies so quickly, and it, the best thing to do is like if you have treasure that treasure magnet equipped with Peter Pan as your party member, you're gonna get so much treasure. And, oh, it's good. It's so good. I, this, I think that's why I kind of like this world, because I love having Peter Pan as a party member. Because, like, he's never really a party member in any other game after this. Well, maybe, like, Recom, I guess, but that's about it. You had a hard time climbing up that ladder. <laughs> I did. I, I just needed Snake Eater to play. What a frill. <laughs> Snake Eater. <laughs> Because of, like, the Shadow Sora thing, which I do like. I think that's what I kind of like. I love that it kind of has, like, a little gimmick to it, but you still, like, the gameplay's still the same. So you have, like, the Shadow Sora and everything. I love that. I think it's why it's probably, like, my favorite. It's not my favorite world in the game. Like, my favorite world in the game will be seeing after this world, but, uh, I like this world quite a bit. And I mean, I don't know, I just, I kind of like going through the ship. Like, I understand, like, you don't like it because you think it, it kind of blends in together, but like a small world, I don't, I don't really hate it. It's okay. But, like, I love, like, a lot of the stuff about this world. Like, I love the Heartless and everything. Like, I love- they remind me, like, of Wind Waker a lot, so that's pretty cool. Also, this is another room that's actually really good to come back and grind in because a lot of Heartless appear in here, so if you need a good place to grind, I recommend coming the here. The best cage one grinding spot is the uh, hotel in Travis Town, so there's tons of defenders there. I, I think it's after you lock Hollow Bastion's keyhole. Because after you lock Hollow Bastion's keyhole, a lot of stuff opens up and some Heartless changes happen. And like, one of them is, I think, defenders um, go around the hotel in uh, Travis Town. 
and like you just keep circling the hotel and use Trinity to like take out the defenders at once and you get a ton of XP. EXP. Even. So like before the final boss, that's that's definitely something I'm gonna abuse quite a bit because like Cage one's weird for me because like I feel like I'm always under leveled when I get to the final boss. Like I'm fine throughout most of the game, but it's when the final because the final boss like. What do you think? Because, like, I hear different things. So, like, for the final boss, what level do you usually try to be at when you fight it? Usually around mid, so maybe 40, 50s. Like, mid 40s to 50. Okay. That's usually about where I get. Because, like, I've heard some people, like, oh, you need to be level 60. And I'm like, that's a bit overkill. But Do you ever do that when you, like... You Google what level should I be for this boss? Oh, it's level 80 when I did it. Like, yeah. stuff like... When the people, worst like, one is, like... So, when I was, um playing through Pokemon Soul Silver, uh, when I got, because I've always had a hard time fighting Claire. I, I just think she's a hard boss to fight because of her, uh, her, uh, Kingdra. So, I was looking up, like, you know, what level should I be before I go in and fight Claire, and the game, somebody, like, on a farm was like, you need to be, like, level 45, and that's, like, what level you need to be at when you fight, like, Lance, and I'm like, no yeah. way. I'm like, that's ridiculous. Also, screw her Seedra. It's so or Kingdra. It's so hard to fight. Shouldn't Donald be able to fly anyway? I mean, he is a duck. Well, duck can ducks fly? I don't know. I think they can fly for like a few feet off the ground. Maybe, possibly. Hold on. Like sick fat check king in this game of hearts. <laughs> yes, they can fly. That's cool. Ducks are, ducks are meant to be like jerks, apparently. No, we saw like a duck like um like sexually assaulting another duck at a pond once, like in high school. It was kind of fucked up. That's what ducks do. Like that's serious. Like have you ever watched that video? Where it's like um scientifically accurate duck tales before. No. I, they go into that. It's really really weird. But yeah, ducks like they'll like rape other ducks, and it's really weird. My lip is flapping. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed that duck, the, the fact of ducks raping one another in your Disney weed games. Yeah. Hook's really bad about having default face. I think his look kind of the worst, too. Yeah, definitely. But yeah, we'll be seeing more Peter Pan shenanigans in the next part. So uh, yeah, see you guys next time.